I'm Wendy Irene from givelovecreatehappiness.com. I'm so happy you're here. Before we get started, I just want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the moms that watch this. I know it's the day after, but um, I want you to know that you are so appreciated and I am so grateful that you're joining me. And thank you to all of you for the likes and shares and subscribing and the support. I really appreciate all that positive energy and I'm sending it right back to you. So the message for this week is all about passion, 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 fire energy. The first card that I pulled is ask your angels. So if you have a situation where you're wondering about, you know, which direction to go, it's really a good idea to get quiet and remember that you have a whole team of unconditionally loving support with you at all times. So really go within and go ahead and ask those questions that you're wondering and be open to receiving answers and that knowing within yourself. Um, I love in the movie City of Angels when he runs his finger across her hand and says, how do you know I'm touching you? And she says, I can feel it. And he says, you should trust that more. That's really the message with this card. Like you have these positive loving energies around you that are there to unconditionally love you and support you. Trust that knowing, that feeling, even though you might not be able to see it. Okay, let's get into the passion part. The uh, next card is the Ace of Gabriel. And it actually says a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. So the message that I'm getting for you for this card is do not hesitate to move forward whatever the situation is in your life and use your own intuition because these cards are just about sparking your own intuition and hearing your own inner voice don't hesitate to move forward and although like I'm doing a general reading I'm really feeling that this is a love reading this week um, for you so to take that to uh, for whoever that applies but this feels like it's really about a love reading and the four of Gabriel this is actually the marriage card for some of you but um, on top of that it's really stability and peacefulness so you're getting that message of you know don't hesitate to move forward because this is going to create stability and peacefulness in your life next it's the page of Gabriel and this is more fire energy more passion about having confidence and taking a chance so have the confidence, like um, say you need to express yourself to someone. It's really about having confidence and taking that chance and doing that, speaking your heart to that person. And it says, the card actually says, you are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure, follow your passion. So passion, 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 like I said. And then again, there's one more passion card. And this is the seven of Gabriel, and this is about standing up for what you believe in. Some of you have to really stand your ground. So this could mean, um, you know, maybe the direction uh, that you want to head in is not one that everybody understands, but you really have to stand your ground with it. For others of you, sometimes you have to say no to other people to be doing the right thing for you or to be protecting yourself and doing the right thing for you. So standing your ground also again with confidence and the king of Raphael is meaning that some of you have a significant other that you can really trust and this is a sign that you can trust this person maybe you have struggled with that in the past but this is someone you can trust and if this isn't your significant other it is a sign that you're going to meet someone that you can trust, whether it's a love interest or a really close friend, but you're going to have someone in come into your life that's very trustworthy if they're not already there. And also again, the king energy. So warm, generous, honorable, refined. It says the ability to accomplish many things at once. Also, this is also saying follow your creative passion. So I don't think we could get any more messages about following your passions, okay, whether that's a love interest or a creative interest, but that's what you're being told. Next, it's healing, healed, healer. Healing energy surrounds you in this situation. So remember, you are divinely protected. If it's a relationship, this relationship is divinely protected. Your passions 
uh, what you're feeling called to do, it's divinely protected. Know that you have that healing energy around you and that some of you are really here to be healers. And lastly, you've got the power. Use your abilities to resolve this situation. You can do it. So with the healing, like you have the ability to create the healing that you want to create, whether it's within the relationship or, um, or within yourself. You have that power and it's kind of just like more confidence boost. Be confident. Okay, friends, I hope that those messages helped you and that they gave you some clarity. If you like this video, please do like it, share it, and subscribe to this channel because that really helps circulate the videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link for that below. But I'm wishing you a wonderful week and I'm really excited to see you again soon. Bye.